so hello everyone uh, welcome to this uh, new video so in the previous video we have started with the millman's theorem and i have explained you the whole theorem in very brief manner very easy theorem it might be coming for 6 uh, to 7 marks the statement along with the proof very easy you can write this uh, this uh, question if it comes you can easily score it millman's theorem the easiest theorem of all in this uh, theorem network theorem module this is the easiest theorem millman's theorem so you, you cannot skip this theorem okay very easy theorem and also the proof so problems are also very very simple only the formula is there in that uh, formula you should be substituting some values and getting the answer that's it okay so if you are not seen that please see that video and also like this video and then watch this video and also if you haven't watched the previous videos of all the theorems which you have covered that is superposition theven in snorton so you have covered all of them you can watch that as well okay so now let's solve with the the two problems in this session we are having let's solve those two problems starting with the first question that is see the let us see the first question now using millman's theorem find the current il through rl that is the load resistance they mentioned it here that is uh, 9.4 ohms for the network shown in the figure okay so that's uh, this is a question given here so you can see this circuit here like that we are having three voltage sources along with the three series resistances and one load resistance and through that load resistance this current flows that is il that we should be finding in this case so let us apply the formula for millman's theorem that is we should be separately finding the values of vm that is the millman voltage that is represented as vm okay for that we have one formula that is uh, v1 y1 plus v2 y2 plus v3 y3 up to vn yn right but in this case since we have only three voltage sources so consider up to three voltages divided by what we have the admittances that is y1 plus y2 plus y3 consider only three of them since we have only three resistances so we should be considering only this part of the circuit now we should be converting this into one voltage source along with the series resistance okay so like so that's why i have written this formula since we have three voltage sources and three resistances so this would be our formula for vm that is vm would be equal to v1 that is the first voltage source that is 20 volt into y1 that is 2 ohm we have we, i've told you what is admittance reciprocal of resistance so in this along with this 20 volt we have 2 ohm and this is admittance y1 so we should be writing it as 1 by 2 similarly plus 40 into 1 by 4 plus 50 into 1 by 5 divided by the admittances that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 Okay, like this I have written it. Now you can solve it. That is two ones are two tens are four ones are four tens are five ones are five tens are. So we would be having ten plus ten plus ten. That would be equal to thirty divided by. So one by two we can write it as point uh, five. One by four we can write it as point two five, and one by five we can write it as point two. That is thirty divided by. Point five plus point two five plus point two, so point five plus point two five plus point two, we would be getting around point nine five. Okay, that is Vm would be equal to thirty divided by zero point nine five, that is thirty one point five seven volt. So this is our millman's voltage, thirty one point five seven volt. Now. we should be finding the equivalent impedance zm right that is equal to i have told you 1 divided by y1 plus y2 plus up to yn in this case it is up to y3 that is zm is equal to 1 divided by here which i have written the y1 plus y2 plus y3 in the denominator part here we have solved it and we have got as 0.95 right that only directly write it here 0.95 that is zm would be equal to solve this we would be getting 1 divided by 0.95 as 1.05 something that is right 1.05 as it is so like this we have got vm and zm now we should be writing the equivalent millman circuit that is the millman's voltage vm equal to 31.57 volt 
along with the series millman resistance that is zm 1.05 ohm and the equivalent load resistance rl which i have taken at the first that is 9.4 ohms and the il we should be finding right through this 9.4 ohm so this circuit here i have converted it to one equivalent millman voltage along with one equivalent series impedance okay using the millman formula hope it is clear now they have told us to find the current il right so here you can see that i is equal to v by r we have the voltage here vm that is 31.57 divided by these two are in series you can add both of them that is 1.05 plus 9.4 so that is il is equal to 31.57 divided by 10.45 if you add these two you would be getting 10.45 so il would be equal to after solving this approximately we would be getting our answer as 3.01 ampere you can check it later so this is our equivalent current il through the load resistance rl so like this we have solved this problem very easy problem hope this is clear so let's solve one more problem and uh, end this session okay let us see that problem so this is that second question similar to the first question only one slight change is there because in this we are having some of the complex terms here okay here we have one complex term this also we can consider as an equivalent impedance okay don't see this inductance sign and keep be in shock because uh, we have not studied uh, any inductance part in this okay not much nothing much here consider this as this has one equivalent impedance only that is if this is a resistance consider this as a resistance with some complex value that's it okay so the let's see the second question use millman's theorem to find the current flowing through 2 plus 3j ohm impedance that is 2 plus 3j ohm since this whole branch is in series so we can directly add them and convert it to a single resistor that we can name it as 2 plus 3j ohm right that only they mentioned here we should be finding the current flowing through this branch here okay similar to that first problem only which you have solved okay in the network below so here one change they what they made is here they have not simplified the circuit here they have kept one uh, resistor in current source in parallel to that resistor so first thing you should be converting this into equivalent voltage source along with series resistor and this you should be converting into one single impedance since in the question they have mentioned 2 plus 3j together right so now write the equivalent circuit now that is uh, reduce the circuit this is 2 ohm 2 volt so then here we have 3 ohm this is 4 volt here we would be having 4 ohm now and v is equal to i into r so 10 into 4 is 40 volt so this is 40 volt and here we would be having one single resistance that is 2 plus 3j ohm okay Hope this is clear. How I've written this? These two I've added since these two are in series, so this would be two plus three j. Oh, so this part again we should be simplifying using Millman's theorem now. That is again the same thing. Find the Millman voltage Vm. The formula is V1 Y1 plus V2 Y2 plus V3 Y3. Since we have only three voltage sources, divided by Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. That is Vm is equal to V1 here is two volt into one by two. Resistance all the one by the resistance value right go on writing since this is the admittance part so V two is four into one by three V three is forty into one by four divided by one by two plus one by three plus one by four okay so two two gets cancelled here four ones are four tens are we would be left with one plus Four by three. If we solve it, we would be getting around one point three three three. So we can consider only one point three three plus ten divided by one point two is zero point five. One by two is zero point five. One by three is is point three 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 again. Point three three and one by four is point two five. So we can write this as ten plus one eleven. Plus one point three three, that is twelve point three three, divided by. If we sum these three up, we would be getting one point zero eight three. And if we divide this, our answer Vm we would be getting around eleven point three eight five volt. Okay, you can check it later. So this is the Millman voltage which I have got here. Now equivalent impedance Zm. 
that is equal to 1 divided by y1 plus y2 plus y3 1 divided by whatever the denominator we have solved for here okay that is 1.083 right since the denominators are same in both the formulas so i have written it directly so zm is equal to 1 divided by 1.083 if you solve it we will be getting around 0.923 oops okay so like this we have solved it here now write the equivalent millman circuit that is 1 millman voltage vm that is equal to 11.385 volt along with the series equivalent impedance 0.923 ohms along with the load impedance that is 2 plus 3j ohms right so now they have all told us to find the current through this impedance i let us find let us keep il now 11.385 divided by these two are in series so 0.923 plus 2 plus 3j that is equal to 11.385 divided by 0.923 plus 2 that is 2.923 plus 3j that is il is equal to we should be solving these two now that is keep the calculator in complex mode mode complex since we have one complex value here okay See here bracket open 11.385 bracket close divided by again bracket open 2.923 plus 3i if we solve it we would be getting around 1 point hope it is visible 1.89 minus 1.94 i right J. We can consider J ampere. Okay. So this is the current here we have found. Okay. In the complex form. Hope this is clear. Like this, you should be solving this problem. So we have solved two similar kind of problems, but some of the changed values. Because uh, this consists of only these kind of problems, Millman's theorem. They would be giving you like this the circuit, and you should be solving like this only. Okay. No other kind of problem should be asked in the Millman's theorem part. So that's all I've covered Millman's theorem and we have left with only one single theorem that is uh, maximum power transfer theorem. Very very important theorem. That theorem would be fixed question for 10 marks which, are going to, which we are going to see in the next session. So that's all for this session guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Share the network analysis playlist to a huge number with all your friends, juniors, third sem students and support us guys. Thank you.